When we are being born, the first thing we notice is our body. It breathes, it moves, it works for us 24-7. Our body is our most loyal, dedicated friend. If it fails us in any way, it is never its fault. Your body believes what you say. Whatever you think of yourself, however you perceive yourself in terms of your health, strength, endurance or beauty becomes the reality for your body. The ancient cultures knew that and created a whole system of symbols to affect, inspire and create the reality for themselves, usually via the pineal gland. Yes, you can help your well-being, you can shape your body with your thoughts, and you can help your health. In an article in the Smithsonian titled, A Molecular Code Links Emotions, Mind and Health, Stephen Paul wrote, The classic view of the body as three separate systems is challenged as research points the way to the new medicine of the 21st century. Some biologists believe we need to rethink some long-cherished principles beginning with medicine's traditional separation of the central nervous system, the seed of thought, memory and emotion, from the endocrine system, which secretes powerful hormones, and the immune system, which defends the body from microbial invasions. Think of your body kindly and it will respond with love. Our body is no accident or necessity. It is a privilege that we give ourselves. However, we often forget this. We forget that each of us is unique, one in billions. That's why we don't notice the simple truth. Every body, regardless of its shape, weight, color or age, is beautiful in its own unique way. Yes. All of us have a preference for what we like the most. However, please keep in mind, these are only preferences. And our preferences are simply associated with current trends or the way we have been programmed by our environment. Preferences, just as trends, often change. Nowadays, current trends are dictated by the fact that many corporations try to sell their products, pills for weight loss, cosmetic surgery, diets, programs, etc. The media and the fashion magazines reinforce such trends, imprinting them into our consciousness. Unfortunately, a lot of people, mainly women, buy such artificially induced fashions as truth about their bodies and lose their self-esteem, believing that there is something wrong with them. While current fashions push the overly skinny image on society, not everyone is naturally slim. Many teenagers try to look as the supermodels, ruining their health and developing serious illnesses while attempting to change the natural shape of their bodies. Every natural body is unique and beautiful. Why force our bodies to become something else, often at the cost of our physical and emotional health? All weight gain occurring due to cycles in our life, such as hormonal changes, aging process, etc., is absolutely normal, natural. Our bodies often become rounder because of their nature. There is nothing to correct. All is the way it is supposed to be. On the other hand, if we become overweight or overly skinny because of neglecting our health, that of course needs to be addressed. It is important to treat your body as your best friend, offer it gifts such as vitamins, natural supplements, healthy, nourishing food, fresh air, proper exercise, clothes or jewelry that you find attractive, anything that makes you happy. When we treat our body in a caring, loving way, it will gain only as much weight as it is natural for its life cycles and it will age in a graceful, natural way. However, if we treat it with resentment 
or lack of love, feeding it with stress, lack of appropriate sleep, food that wears it out instead of nourishing, it will indeed lose its natural joy of life and fail us. Our bodies love life and want us to love life. They are happy when we are happy. They help us to fulfill our dreams, achieve success and fill our life with happiness. And if we become ill, hey, that's not a reason to stop loving our bodies, denying ourselves the joy of life. Just as we love our dearest friends, no matter how they look or how they feel, healthy or ill, let's love our bodies in sickness as well. Everybody is beautiful, skinny, round, tall, short, young, old, healthy or not. It is important to remember that. Enjoy your day and enjoy your beautiful body.